Hello everyone, and I'm having a look at the Audio Technica Sonic Fuel ATH-CKX9 IS Sonic Fuel headphones. Here I'm going to start off with a quick unboxing. I got these in Japan, as you can see. Um, excuse the one-handed unboxing here. It's a little bit hard to do, but I made it through. <laughs> so as you can see, the box is a little bit fiddly to get to, but once inside, it's all presented very nicely. Two sections there, the headphones up top, and then the case down the bottom. And you'll see headphones there with the controls in the middle. They do look quite big. And I got the blue and black cable. And case down the bottom there. Let's talk about the case a little bit. It's made out of hard plastic and a leather look case with a big Audio Technica logo in the middle there. Uh, the case is really nice. It's nice and tough and big enough for the headphones and the rest of the accessories, as you'll see in a bit. The inside is lined with felt, so it feels nice and soft. The zip feels nice and um, secure as well and durable. The only bad thing I've got to say is that the leather look covering outside feels a little bit cheap. Here yeah, I'm just showing you guys the controls. Nice and easy to slide up and down. The control button there. The pieces with the default size of medium. And you can see there the um, headphones are ported, so nice deep bass. Okay, and inside the case you get different size ear tips, different size ear hooks, and also the comply foam tips there, and that's a medium size that you get in there, yeah. which is useless to me because I have really big ear holes, so I just use an extra large one. And the outside of the box. Now I'm going to just move on to a slideshow while I give you guys a little bit more information about what I think of these headphones. Now the quality of them um, I really like the color theming of them, the uh, silver and black and the silver and rubber and everything looks really really good. The flat tangle free cord is really nice and thick. And the volume slider and control button have a good feel and move easily. Now the silicon buds and the ear hooks are very soft and comfortable. The larger pieces are very light considering their size. Um, and also the control and the mic unit is also very very light. Um, each connection is sealed with high quality rubber before attaching to the plastic components and you can see that um, with the beginning of the microphone and the end of the microphone control panel um, you see like the black plastic bits that will seal it off from any sweat. Um, there's mesh on the mic and the earpieces which assists in keeping sweat and debris from blocking it and they have really good um, different sizes so you can you know, fit them to your ear. The ported design, as I was talking about before, will allow for better bass response. And if you buy in the EU, you're covered by a two-year warranty, and I'm pretty sure everywhere else it's just a one-year warranty. Uh, also, a good thing about them is their comply uh, foam tip compatibility. Now, a couple of things I don't like about the headphones is that the shiny finish on the silver bits looks a bit cheap and it also feels a little bit cheap I think like a matte finish would have been better um, and also the silver bits the paint looks like it might chip off over time but you know these are still new so still got plenty of time to run them in uh, just talking about sound quality now now uh, they have a really good uh, bass focused quality here I like my bass um, but I don't like it to be thumping, thumping in my ear. I just like it to be there and to have, you know, different qualities of bass. Um, the frequency response is from 5 to 25,000 hertz, which is a very wide frequency response. And these headphones do it very, very well. The bass response is very, very good, but it's not overpowering. As I said before, it's tight, clear, and varied. Um, the mids are very clear, very nice vocals, 
and trebles are not harsh and the cymbals they don't sting your ears they don't make you wince the s's don't sound harsh either um, in female vocals overall the sound quality is quite warm um, but everything comes together quite nicely especially if you like to hear different tones in bass um, another really good thing is that you can pump these up really really loud and they do not distort which is excellent um, using them outside of the gym I found that they're great for everyday use uh, everyday listening to music playing games watching movies and like I'm actually recording this voiceover with them right now um, they're easy to wear for long periods of time because they're very comfortable and storage is easy due to the flat free tangle cord um, they're both compatible with iOS and Android and the controls are really really good one press is a play and pause, two presses skips the track forward, and three presses skips the track back. Um, the only bad thing about them is that they do look really big. Um, so people might just think, you know, they're just a little bit weird looking. Also, the microphone can be a little bit far away, and if you're in a noisy environment, you'll need to hold it up to your mouth so you can hear, you can be heard better. And using them in the gym, I really really sweat a lot when I go to the gym use a treadmill doing weights and um, a dancer as well so I'll use them for that and they do not move at all the silicon is really grippy so that's excellent um, they stay in when you get super sweaty and then you're you know upside down you're sideways whatever they they won't go anywhere the light control uh, unit means that you know it doesn't pull on the cables when it's left to hang when you're running um, and it doesn't sway around very much in an annoying way um, when you're moving a lot and it easily because of the sound isolation easily drowns out the crappy gym music uh, what else the silicon around the ear hooks also assists in keeping up the sweat of, of, of the internal components so you'll see that the silicon layer it makes it quite thick which um, helps to keep the sweat out also they're easy to wipe and clean um, after your workout. They're really, really good. I really recommend these to you guys who like your sound and are up for a new set of sporting headphones. And this is comparing the sound to my Denon AHD 2000s, which are absolutely amazing. And as I said before, I had um, Blue Jaybirds, Blue Buds X, which are also really, really good. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed, guys, and hope that was helpful. Cheers.